Hello everyone and, and welcome back to the series where we continue to discuss uh, Enterprise Architect and its uh, diagrams and model types. Um, first of all, please jump on that like button, please jump on that comments and please jump on subscribe. Um, support is really helpful for all that. Um, G'day Stephen, welcome back. Hi Tom, good to be here. That's uh, fantastic mate. Um, so today we're looking at the composite structure diagrams inside Enterprise Architect. Yeah, Tom, it's a uh, it's one of the diagrams that isn't used uh, very often, but is incredibly powerful. It's one of my favourite uh, diagrams, uh, and really uh, helps people understand, you know, the detailed structure uh, of a model. So, as always, we'll start with our perspective. I've been doing some behavioural modelling, so I'm going to change that. The composite structure diagram is obviously a structural diagram. Change that. Go over to the the project browser and very quickly. Um, create a package there for the composite structure model. Uh, I'm going to move that down in the in the in the browser underneath the component uh, model. So um, we're ready to go. But before we do, I just wanted to uh, show you the component model. The composite structure model is largely based on the component model. So uh, as always, we we don't have to re uh, we don't have to create things. We can reuse them in uh, in our models. So let's have a look at the um, the component model. Now, we did an earlier video on components and we've added some things to this. So what, a couple of things we've added, we've added a few more uh, few more components here, the payment reader, the payment gateway, and the payment readers uh, made up of card reader and this non, this um, mere field com communication reader as well. Uh, notice that they're connected by a composition relationship, which says that they're, it's kind of like a part of, so the payment reader is a part of the payment system, makes sense. And in turn, the card reader is a part of the um, the payment reader. So um, we're all good to go. Those ports are what are called interaction points. Think about it like a like you know the, the word airport in our uh, in our business thing. We we go to an airport to go to a, another country. These are uh, ports that allow us to uh, get inside this payment system. So let's go to our composite structure uh, diagram. We're going to uh, create one of those composite structure. Create the diagram. Um, there it is. And again, we have got uh, a number of things we can uh, drag onto the um, onto the toolbox there. But let's just use um, some things that we uh, already have. So this is focusing on the payment system. So let's drag the payment system onto the diagram, and um, we're going to drag it on as a uh, as a link in this case. And we'll put that in, and we'll make it bigger. We're going to the composite structure is about the internal. Uh, behavior or the internal uh, structure of these elements. So if you look at that uh, diagram now, we can open up the features window and have a look at these interaction points. So we've got two interaction points which are of type port. All I have to do is uh, select those and they get put onto the uh, diagram. So uh, we want this cloud payment one over here on uh, this uh, right hand wall and uh, the payments over here. Now these are, are points that uh, that other other um, components can connect to. So it's all about um, connecting. Now one of the first things that's going to happen is that we're going to um, use our uh, our payment reader. So let's drag the payment reader onto this diagram. This time because it's going internally here, we're going to uh, call it a property. So we'll put that on, um, and we'll call it um, the smart the smart um, payment reader. So that's uh, that's that's all very well. Now the the payment uh, system itself is not going to do the work, and so there's a connector here uh, called a delegate, and it's going to delegate the work instead of doing the work itself. It's going to delegate this work to um, the payment reader. So uh, that's a very useful uh, connector. And we're going to, if you remember back to the component model, uh, we had things that were inside this um, this this one as well. So let's um, let's put the, uh, if we go back to our component model, you can see that inside that payment reader, there's a card reader and this near field communication reader. So let's just um, drag those ones on as well. So we've got our um, uh, our card reader and our um, and our NFC reader, and we can drag those both on at the same time. Uh, drop them there, select for all, and we can say it's a property. Um, in they go, and um, let's. Um, just put those there, and again, we'll just give them um, a name. We don't actually have to name these, but um, this is uh, a useful thing to do. A particular um, version of this is um, the smart readers, so let's just use that. Um, now we've got those uh, elements uh, in there. Um, that's very useful. Um, 
And again, if you look at this payment reader, it's not going to do the work itself either. It's going to um, delegate the work to the, um, the, the card reader and the NFC reader. So again, we select that element in the, in the model, in the diagram, and we, again, we turn on uh, these ports. And um, it didn't click those on, copy there. And there they are. And so I can um, look at this one here and it's um, read coming out and read going in. And this time I'm going to put this one here and using a very uh, useful um, productivity feature, I can um, move this connector and put it onto the um, onto the port. I actually just move the, uh, the label then. I've got that stuff and I'll just move that now onto the um, port there. Um, let me just take that off and, and put it onto the port. And that's did moved you, it onto the port now. Did you do something special there with your keyboard to make it unsnap? To make it... Uh, so the, the, the first time it seemed to snap to the, the payment reader, then the second time it seemed to break free and then you were able to attach it to the port. Then did you do anything special then or was it just moving the mouse? No, I just I was just using the mouse. Well, I just moved it away from that a, a little bit and that um, that got it set onto the, um, onto the port. So mm -hmm. um, you don't need to um, worry about that. Um, let's um, let's yeah, let's do another thing and let's turn off some of these. We know these are components. Let's just quickly go into our uh, into our properties window, uh, look at the elements, and say um, let's uh, look at the diagram rather and turn off these um, show name spaces. It'll give us a little bit more, uh, make the diagram a little bit clearer. Uh, we can then <clears throat> connect these guys up with um, a simple connector. Again, simple drag and drop. It's a type of connector. Let's connect this one up. It's a type of connector as well. And um, again, when that work's done, we'll um, we'll target this um, port here and the same with this one. And then um, let's um, make that a connector. And the other thing we need to do is put on our payment gateway. So we'll just drag our payment gateway. I could have done it, that at the same time as the other one, but um, here it is, payment gateway is there. We're using a, a particular uh, internal thing that it's called um, the Trinaco um, Plus um, gateway, which is something we've developed um, internally. And again, we can just connect, uh, connect that up of the connector and connect this up uh, to the port. Now, the 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 ports uh, are very useful for making all these um, these connections. And you know, many systems have internal parts, and so this is a, a very useful way uh, of showing that. I'm going to just do one thing, Tom. I'm going to just drag a um, a legend onto the uh, diagram, and you can see the magic that's happened there. I already had that um, component legend in a. Uh, in a, in a library and so on it goes and I can it makes the diagram kind of easier to um, you know to understand those on there yeah, very good so the reason why there's no ports on the payment gateway is because there's no internal components for it yeah that's right Tom you don't want to you don't want to uh, overuse the port the port is a, a way of Kind of, it's called an interaction um, point, and it allows you to capture the incoming um, the incoming connector, and then distribute that connector to an internal part or property of the uh, of the particular component. So you could go down to any you know level if you if you if you wanted to put ports on the card reader as well, you could do that. But there's no need to put them on if you uh, if you don't need them um, in there. And as always, models evolve. Uh, over time, and uh, you know, we may not have all the information about about this uh, these things. The Trinaco um, payment gateway, Trinaco Plus payment gateway. Uh, we may want to get inside that uh, and you know look at the different parts in that. But in this particular model, we don't. But there's always the option to do that. And so, right from this uh, this port on the left hand side here, we can follow the connectors all the way through, uh, and you know, think about the scenarios. Um, it's going to go off to the cloud payments. Uh, system, which is uh, you know some cloud-based uh, payment system, and uh, and come back. And we haven't shown that on this diagram, but we could easily you know put another component uh, on the diagram and connect that up um, from that port. And so it allows it allows all the connectors to um, you know you, you traverse the connectors and understand where the work's actually been done. And so, what types of uh, people or roles would would benefit from a diagram like this? Uh, yeah, very good question. Um, the whole lot of a whole lot of uh, people will uh, will benefit. The business people probably aren't interested as much in this uh, diagram, but sometimes sometimes they are. They you know they may be interested in um, describing the fact that we're using an external um, payments gateway and need to you know talk to a uh, a particular client about that. But it's more it's more people that are doing the architecture. 
the solution architecture. So remember, these are at the moment are logical components, but we can easily do a, a you know more physical uh, a physical model. But anyone that's sort of doing the solution architecture and you know determining uh, you know where this would be, what, how this would be used. Now, if you just gave the problem to a developer, uh, a developer might without a model, a developer might just go, well, this is an interesting problem. Uh, I'm going to create my own payment gateway because that sounds like an interesting thing to do and that will keep me busy for, you know, a, a, a month or two. But we already have this um, this developed component, this Trinaco Plus. So the solution architect would draw this diagram and when it goes to the developers, they would know that that's the payment gateway that, that is required to be used. And, you know, there may be other uh, other gateways, uh, but it, 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 it kind of, I guess it, it, it defines the things that need the logical components and the way they need to be connected um, to achieve um, the requirements that the system has, um, you know, uh, have been defined for the system. Hmm. Oh, very interesting, very interesting. Thank you very much for that, Stephen. It's uh, uh, great to see you and uh, I'll learn a lot in this one. So thank you again. My pleasure, Tom. We'll uh, look forward to another, uh, another session. Absolutely. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Uh, again, like, comment, subscribe uh, as we continue on with this series through Enterprise Architect. See you in the next video.